huge shifts are coming. And when I say huge, I mean huge. Life-changing. And God is not playing this time. Like when I say huge, I mean huge. Deep, deep transformation. Another life. And we as a human consciousness, we're stepping into this new phase of our lives. Recently, not gonna lie, I've been feeling like I'm not where I'm supposed to be. And it's not in terms that I don't trust God's plan or I don't, you know, trust the universe, but just I... I don't feel like I'm feeling fulfilled, like I'm feeling good in that atmosphere, in that environment where I'm in. And it's not to, of course, like bring down all the stuff that I have earned and where I'm at in my life. I'm endlessly grateful. I sometimes forget to remind myself how blessed I am to have things that I have, things that I worked hard for, things that I had to go through a lot to get to. Just a simple example, one year ago, I went to restaurant only on very, very special occasions and when I had money, because usually I didn't have much money. And now I can go literally any time when I want and without any special occasions. That's just an example of how I changed throughout the year, how I increased my abundance throughout the year. Recently, I've been feeling these dark times happening from time to time just because some stuff is really not fulfilling. Some stuff is really unfair. And my whole life, I kept addressing that question to myself in the first place. When something happens, I address that question to myself. Okay, what I did wrong, what I could have done better. It's just something that I keep doing over and over just because I'm not the type of person who gives up easily. I don't give up easily. If something didn't work out, I try again. I fall down, I stand up, I try again. I fall down, I stand up. 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 Yeah, recently I just found myself in that situation where I tried to fit in in a group of people really try to fit in just because we are working on the same purpose. I wouldn't say that I tried really hard just because excessive efforts are not very useful, but I just try to come up with new stuff every time. Like, okay, should I be more honest? Should I be more open? Should I be more excited? Or, you know, talk about stuff that I am passionate about, maybe, you know, to ignite that fire inside of other person. And I just have seen that it's not reciprocated. That I am open and other person is closed off. And then we are in that group of people. That person opens up with them, but not with me. They seem to have found a common language between themselves and I feel like I'm like left out in the cold, you know? And of course, when it happens over and over again, I ask myself, okay, why can't I fit in? As I told in my last video, like, you don't need to seek for external validation. When I say that we don't have to seek external validation, I mean that we don't have to seek it from everyone. But since humans are societal creatures and we are raised in society, we need validation from important people, people who are important for us, people who will respect us, who will validate our ideas, you know, who will cheer us up. But we don't need that validation from all people. And yeah, just after everything that happened and I've seen that my efforts are not working out and even if I will try 150 times, it just seemed not to be working out, I get back home and I asked God for this sign, for this answer. I'm like, what? Why? Just why? A couple of hours I have spent in this state of understanding that I feel really lonely. That I keep feeling this loneliness, you know? From all this self-help or self-gurus or spiritual stuff, we keep hearing that, you know, you feel that way just because you are not holy yourself. 
just because you need to work on your self-worth on your confidence and then it will you know reflect in your reality and people will like you and shit which is complete bullshit because that's very again black and white thinking i am confident person i know who i am i have things that i'm passionate about i have my own interests i have my own job I have my own opinions on stuff. I have my own healthy self-esteem. But even when I have all this stuff, it doesn't mean that I will connect with other people. And you know what? I cannot connect with them just because we are not in alignment. We are not energetic match of each other. And yeah, after spending a couple of hours in that kind of very dark state of mind, when I felt like, so does it mean that I'm meant to be a lone wolf my whole life, just because no matter how hard I try, mm, how open I am, how friendly I am, how welcoming I am, it just seems that it's just neglected, it's just not taken into consideration. And I've received this almost like intuitive download, saying that it's just not my people, I'm not in my environment yeah i had to end up in that environment i had to end up with that people in my life it happens in life but it doesn't mean that i have to fit in it doesn't mean that i have to try to fit in this question pops up like why are we trying to make people like us that people who we don't even like because honestly these people ain't shit like they are gossiping about other people behind other people's backs when i was hearing all this conversation internally i was thinking like but that's not your fucking business what other pe- person like is doing why you keep bringing other person's like stuff on the surface like over and over again you don't have any other topics to speak about you don't even have like your own life stuff to speak about why are you bringing other person's problems that's one red flag another red flag is that i haven't felt that confidence level from them You know, this type of people who are trying to fit in the company, but who don't have this individual sense of selves almost. And third of all, their humor is not funny. Their sense of humor is not funny at all. Like, I don't see the point of laughing at a joke when it's not funny. Yeah, I just had this, you know, realization that, well, first of all, I'm not meant to be a lone wolf in my life, even if I give off that vibes, um, but I'm not meant to be alone in my life. What I'm meant to do is to find people who will match me energetically, who will reciprocate equally, whose opinion I will find valuable, whose opinion I will respect, whom I will love and support and who will do the same for me. And I'm very thankful, you know, for the universe, for the God, for showing me this, because when we feel this, you know, deep, deep wounded, emotions all these past traumas you know coming to uh, to the surface when we become aware of them we create these new potentials of going after things which are really for us which are really on our level which really fits us and to leave this stuff which is not serving you which is not bringing fulfillment for you behind you know without feeling guilt or shame because of it and at first you might feel guilt or shame about it but it just will pass it's coming up to surface in order for you to feel it. There is no such things as bad emotion. Like all emotions are valid actually, even if we label them as negative. Even feeling envy, that's also a valuable emotion. I'm bringing up the envy just because I felt envious recently also. And it was quite surprising for me because I'm thinking like, but why am I feeling envious for other persons being happy? Like, I have uh, everything. Like, I have so much and I still feel envy for other persons being happy. I know what that person struggled with. I realized that I felt envy because that person had something that I didn't have in my life. And yeah, this caused me naturally feeling envy. And when we are feeling envy, I think first thing that we also feel is sense of guilt. Because why am I feeling envious? I'm such a bad person. But no, envy is also a valid emotion. And of course, it has nothing to do with that person, with his personality or what what he's doing. No, it has everything to do with me. Because I think for myself, like, but I also want to meet such cool people as that person did. 
but I'm not in that life circumstances as this person and yeah I just have this uh, feeling of confusion and feeling like the same excitement that happened with that person will not happen with me which of course is a limiting belief which of course is not true like if you'll believe that it would happen if you'll take that action it would happen also I felt not comfortable when I realized that I'm not invested in other people's lives like at all I've been watching some people's stories I've been watching what's going on in their lives and I realized that I'm not invested in it at all like I'm not interested in it at all like I watched these photos I hear their stories and I'm not interested in what's going on in their lives like at all it doesn't excite me it doesn't matter like what that person did, where that person traveled, what changes, life changes happened in their life. Oh my god, they got married or oh my god, something else or they're celebrating something. I just find myself at that place where I'm not interested like at all. I think about my family, I think about my friends and I realize that I don't feel anything for them as well. I don't feel like shame or guilt in front of them I don't feel much being invested in what's going on in their lives or like cheering and supporting them all the time either I'm just neutral and I think all of this is just helping energies in order for me to shift into another phase of my life into completely another phase of my life where all that things at once really matter to me all that things at once brought me sense of feeling something not making me feel anything anymore and that's why now I can calmly move into another phase of my life some things are meant to be left behind things that once I thought that I should care for that I should be connected to I'm not connected to them because that sense of connectedness doesn't come up with me doing something or proving something to someone this thought now might sound contradictory or just weird and I still haven't really developed it much yet but I don't care what person does or feels or says what I really care is person's energy you feel the energy energy doesn't lie energy is always right when your gut feeling is telling that something is wrong with that people, something is wrong with that person or with that past or with that job, that gut feeling is not telling you wrong. That gut feeling is always right. But you will see that it was right all along only when you will face some negative consequences or only when they will reveal their true colors. You will see. And we are, I believe, moving in that state from 3D to 5D into that state where people live according to the energies that they spread if person has similar matching energy to me we will connect why because our energies are same because we connect through the energy we connect because our energy levels are reciprocated they are same it's connection on energetical level it's connection on spiritual level that you might not be able to explain you know with words or actions and a lot of people, they get triggered around all this energetic stuff. Just because it's not something that they can see. It's not something that everyone can understand. As much as your consciousness expands. As much as you will go through this journey by yourself. And see. Or get in tune with the signs and synchronicities, you know, from the universe. Who is always guiding you, is always speaking to you. But you just gotta see. Then you will notice that yeah energetic realm is real spiritual realm is real there is something more there is always something more and there is a sense to everything that's going on in your life huge shifts are coming for our collective human consciousness big shifts are coming your life is going to change in tremendous ways big opportunities are coming big money streams big abundance is coming 